Hey, welcome back to GearWire.com. I'm Owen O'Malley, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Golden Age Project R1 Mark II, which is a passive ribbon microphone, uh, and it's a very affordable passive ribbon microphone. Uh, and it sounds really good, uh, especially when you consider the fact that it only costs about $180 from most retailers. Uh, a little bit about Golden Age. Um, the parent company, Golden Age Music, is primarily a uh, a distributor for other brands in Europe. Uh, they do make one really high-end piece of gear under the Golden Age Music brand. It is a, uh, a two-channel variable mu all-tube compressor, which sells for over 68,000 kroner, which is over $9,000 US. So a very high-end piece of gear. Uh, the Golden Age Projects line uh, consists of several microphones, and uh, the much lauded Mic Pre, the Pre 73, uh, all of which are sort of priced for the entry level recording uh, enthusiast. Um, actually, uh, we're going to listen to a couple of different audio demos of this microphone. They're all going through the Pre 73. It's based on a Neve Mic Pre design, uh, and we'll dedicate another video to that unit. So as I mentioned before, the R1 is a passive ribbon microphone with a 50 millimeter aluminum foil ribbon, which is very delicate. Um, passive ribbon microphones, it's very important to never feed phantom power to the mic uh, because it will destroy the ribbon. Uh, it's also important that you don't drop the mic. Uh, when you're recording vocals with this mic, uh, you should always use a pop filter because gusts of wind can ruin the ribbon. Uh, even when you store it, you should always store it vertically which is kind of why this um, carrying case that it comes with has a little hanging uh, strap on it. Um, because if you store it uh, horizontally, that'll cause the ribbon to sag. Like all ribbon microphones, uh, it is bi-directional. It's a figure eight pickup pattern, um, which has less of a, a, a pronounced proximity effect than a cardioid mic, but a little bit more of a proximity effect than an omni uh, pickup pattern. So it makes it really great for close miking uh, guitar cabinets. Uh, we use it in a couple of other demos, including one on the, uh, the Laney Lionheart 410. So now let's listen to it through our house AC-15. Uh, first clean. And now, dirty. Yeah, so this mic is pretty excellent on uh, basically uh, any guitar cabinet amplifier that you throw it in front of. It also has a really nice uh, rounded top end, uh, which makes it great for recording, um, otherwise hard to record, uh, smaller acoustic instruments like mandolin or ukulele, instruments that when you put in front of, say, a large diaphragm condenser, uh, the, the sort of attack, the transients get really excited. And so this mic does a nice job of sort of rounding those off a bit and bringing out the more sort of musical character of that instrument. For example. And it also sounds really great on boat instruments. So now let's hear it on a sort of more typical acoustic instrument, an acoustic guitar.
So I, it still sounds pretty great. Um, I don't think it sounds quite as good on the larger bodied acoustic instruments as it does on smaller bodied acoustic instruments. Although I bet it would sound really good on stand-up bass. Uh, and I bet it would sound fantastic if you paired it with a, like a pencil condenser on an acoustic guitar. Now, of course, you can also record vocals on this guy. Uh, let's listen to that real quick. Don't change a hair for me. Not if you care for me. Stay, little Valentine. Stay. Each day is Valentine's Day. So as you can hear, it's still pretty uh, excellent definition in this mic. Um, remember to always use a pop filter. You don't want to get spittle or mouth spray, as Golden Age calls it in their manual, uh, on the aluminum foil ribbon. Um, I think it's a little maybe too warm, too woolly sounding for uh, modern vocals. Um, I think it's sort of best if you're really trying to go for that sort of, you know, classic 40s, 50s era sounding vocal recordings. So as I showed you before, the package comes with this very interesting carrying case um, that comes with a strap so you can store it hanging vertically. And the case, uh, when you're not using it to house your microphone, makes a really great uh, little chill tote that'll keep a bottle of Pinot cool through the second act of Cymbeline in the park. So, pretty nice package for $180. And at that price, you should really just get a pair. And you can experiment with doing blunt line recordings, which is two figure eights in XY with each other. Uh, and uh, I bet it would yield some really excellent drum overhead tones. So there you go. That is the Golden Age Project's R1 Mark II ribbon microphone. They also make an active version of this mic. They make a tube version of this mic. And there's also the R2, which has a slightly different uh, frequency response character. And uh, hopefully we'll check that guy out soon. Uh, until then, this is GearWire. And this is Owen O'Malley signing off.